Hello everyone. I am Zahid Abbas. Welcome to my YouTube channel Matthew Lace. In this series of videos, we are going to learn about domain and range of trigonometric functions in detail. We shall try to understand this concept step by step theoretically with the help of the unit circle and with the help of the graphs of trigonometric functions. This is the first video of this series. In this video, we are going to find the answers of the following questions theoretically. Number one, what is meant by domain and range of a function? And number two, what are domain and range of sine and cosine functions? Let's learn about domain of a function with the help of an example. Consider a function y is equal to 1 by x. In this function, the values of y depend upon the values of x. So y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Now think about the values of x for which the values of y are defined. The function y is equal to 1 by x is defined for each real value of x except when x is 0. It is because of the fact that division by 0 is undefined. It means x can have any real value in this function except 0. That is, the set of all the values of x in this case is the set of real numbers excluding 0. This set is called the domain of the function y is equal to 1 by x. So domain of a function is defined as the set of all the values of independent variable for which the dependent variable is defined or domain is the input of a function for which the output is defined. Let's learn about the range of a function with the help of the same example now. When we plug in a value of x in the function y is equal to 1 by x, we get a corresponding value of y. For example, if we use x is equal to 2, we get y is equal to 0 0.5. When we plug in all the values of x from the domain of this function, we get a corresponding set of values of y. Have a look at this table. In the first row of this table, we have enlisted some of the values of x from the domain of the function y is equal to 1 by x. And in the second row, there are the corresponding values of y. For example, when we use x is equal to 0 0.5, we get y is equal to 2. When we use x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 1. If we use x is equal to negative 0 0.5, we get y is equal to negative 2. When we use x is equal to minus 1, we get y is equal to minus 1. Also note that if we use x is equal to 0, then y is undefined. It means 0 is not part of the domain of the function y is equal to 1 by x. So, domain of the function 1 by x is the set of real numbers except 0. And note that the values of y are also real numbers except 0. It is because of the fact 
when we divide 1 by any non zero number we never get zero so zero is not part of the range of the function y is equal to 1 by x hence the set that we get by plugging in all the values from the domain of this function is called the range of this function and so the range of the function y is equal to 1 by x is the set of real numbers excluding 0. Let's move forward and learn about domain and range of sine and cosine functions now. Domain of sine function. The sine function is stated by the equation y is equal to sine of x. Think about the values of x for which the values of y are defined. Is there any value of x for which the y is undefined? No, there isn't. So x can have any value from the set of real numbers. Therefore, the domain of this function is the set of real numbers. Check. Use the calculator, hit the sign button and then plug in any number you think. You will always find an answer on the calculator screen. So sine function is defined for every real value of its argument. Range of sine function. When we plug in any value of x, from the domain of the function y is equal to sine of x, we never get a value of y that is less than negative 1 or greater than 1. You may check it using calculator yourself. So for our values of x in the function y is equal to sine of x, the values of y remain in the range from minus 1 to 1. It is the range of the sine function. Have a look at this table. In the first row of the table, there are some values of x from the domain of the function y is equal to sine of x. And in the second row, there are corresponding values of y. Note that the value of x could be any real value. It is the domain of the function y is equal to sine of x. So domain of the function sine of x is the set of real numbers. Also note that in the second row, all the values are in the range from negative 1 to 1. That is the minimum value of the function sine of x is minus 1. And the maximum value of the function sine of x is 1. All the remaining values are in between minus 1 and 1. It is the range of the function y is equal to sine of x. So, the range of the function y is equal to sine of x is the set of all the real numbers in the range from minus 1 to 1. Domain of cosine function. The cosine function is stated by the equation y is equal to cos of x. Think about the values of x for which the values of y are defined. Is there any value of x for which the y is undefined? No, there isn't. So x can have any value from the set of real numbers. Therefore, the domain of this function is the set of real numbers. Check. Use the calculator, hit the cause button and then plug in any number you think. You will always find an answer on the calculator screen. So cosine function is defined for every real value of its argument. Range of cosine function. When we plug in any value of x from the domain of the function y is equal to cos of x, we never get a value that is less than minus 1 or greater than 1. 
you may check it using the calculator yourself so for all values of x in the function y is equal to cos of x the values of y remain in the range from negative 1 to positive 1 it is the range of the cosine function have a look at this table in the first row of this table there are some values of x from the domain of the function cos of x and in the second row there are corresponding values of y or the function cos of x note that the value of x could be any real value it is the domain of the function cos of x so domain of the function cos of x is the set of real numbers also note that in the second row all the values remain in between minus 1 and 1 including minus 1 and 1 that is the minimum value of the function cos of x is minus 1 and the maximum value of the function cos of x is 1 all the remaining values are in between negative 1 and 1 it is the range of the function cos of x so range of the function cos of x is all the set uh, all the numbers all the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 including minus 1 and 1 summary domain of both the sine and cosine function functions is the set of real numbers that is sine and cosine functions can have any real value as their argument range of both the sine and cosine functions is the set of real numbers from negative 1 to 1 that is the sine and cosine functions cannot have any value that is less than negative 1 or greater than 1 and this is the end of this video thank you for being with me see you soon with the next video stay happy goodbye